Greetings ladies and gents from the Car Doctor Institute here at beautiful sunny Anchorage, Alaska in the shop of Donor Automotive. I'm Tim. I appreciate you coming by. I know I, uh, you're probably getting sick of these little short vids, but this one was worth sharing. Trust me. I don't know that I've ever ever seen this in my entire career, but I, if I'd been involved in the race industry, uh, I probably would have seen stuff like this, but not too many race cars around here. This one's a, it's like an 80. Let's see, what do we got here? This is a 96 Buick LeSabre. Came in on the hook with a no start issue. Check this out. It's actually a low miles car, 3.8 motor. Um, I started up, just goes, and stops. And uh, so I pop the hood. I see that the engine cover is cracked. That's the first sign of problems. Pulled the engine cover back, and holy smokes. Houston, we have a problem. This thing blew up. And uh, it's not good. It is not a Dorman intake plenum. This is an OE intake. Um, yikes. I don't know how deep it goes. Um, there's a lower intake as well. And we're going to have to find out if that's damaged. Uh, the mass airflow or the uh, map sensor broke. Um, you know, we don't know yet what caused this. Leaky injector, leaky... There's some type of fuel vapor in there. There was some fire. Um, got some melted wires here. This cover actually has some melting where some some fire occurred. But uh, wow, that's cool. Super unfortunate for this guy because I know they don't have this kind of money. And my problem is, we got to identify what caused this before we just dump lots of money into fixing it in hopes that it doesn't happen again when we go to start it up. So I can do injector leak down tests and compression tests and maybe make an educated guess as to what happened, but, you know, we're not going to really know until we find something for sure or go to crank it up this could be on the evap side allowing too much fuel vapor to to enter um, when the car sits it was a cold start scenario when the vehicle had sat springtime here in alaska snow is receding the sun day daylight hours are increasing Got a sweet little rig here. Caravan. BCM issue. Got a uh, Chevy Classic. This had a uh, kind of like control arm, little link arm that was bent on the back. It's tracking sideways down the road. Got that fixed up this morning. So we're on a roll. It's looking good so far. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I uh, apologize I've been so slammed I haven't even responded to most of your comments. And uh, I plan on getting caught up with all that stuff soon. But I hope that you're having a fantastic week so far. And I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, hey, I'm going to give you an update on the Ford truck too. Got the shop truck motor out. I think I've... I made a video on it um, and uh, we'll give you an update on that soon. Uh, I'm going to go pick the heads up today. We got the heads done and uh, boy, it was a mess. So we're going to give you an update on that next time. Take care.